Welcome everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, another Marketplace video. I've been trying to work through them. I know I got a little behind with my surgery and then the January challenge journals, I expected to take one day and I think it took more like five or six. So yes, we got a little behind, but I do think we are starting to catch up a little bit. And today I have a box of journals from Julie Carpenter. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to look at today. And so I think that will be fun, uh, inspirational, educational, and some of these are truly beautiful. So I think there's something for everyone here. We'll start off quickly with a Christmas mini album. No, it's not Christmas, but I keep mentioning uh, any time of year is a great year to get your memory album or your journal ready for Christmas. So this is actually a memory album. It's not really a junk journal. And so that's, I think that's really neat. I'm always in awe of the construction of these things. Perfect for photos and things like that. It says family there on the side. So I think this would be really great for adding your Christmas photos. Christmas interactive album. It's a big size. Um, I'm trying to see if she put a size. I don't think she put a size on it, but it's a big size. It's like a 10 by 10 or close to that. But it's really interactive. I'm never good with these um, interactive journals when I'm showing them. I am always miss things. But then that just means there's something that you get to discover for yourself when you get it. But there's journal cards and pockets. There's flips and tucks. So lots of places to journal and put your favorite family photos. There's even a magnetic closure. So that's great. I think there's a photo mat there as well. <laughs> My cat is meowing. It's going to be super annoying. She probably wants food, but I think she has food. So there's little journal cards here. And then these open like that. There's a waterfall on this side. I know I'm probably missing um, some flips or tucks, but that's okay. There's that one. So you could get a nice journaling spot or a couple pictures, like a scrapbook layout there. So perfect amount of space for a holiday. If you don't have a billion photos, but you have some really special ones that you want to remember, this would be really great for that. And it would look amazing on your shelf and table, something like that. So there's that. And then here's a six by six album, little mini album. It says big dreamer, good looking. You could put a photo here. This would be perfect for photos of maybe one person. Like if you have a little girl that you're journaling, be silly. You know, maybe kindergarten year or a birthday. It says create your own sunshine. So it would just be perfect to add photos. There's um, some pockets and things like that too. Be really fun maybe to remember whether it's a year or a special day there's places for that and then we have two of these ring bound journals they will uh, be put together in a lot because they're small um, I usually don't take ones this small unless I combine them so I'll just combine them but there's just a few pages and they're kind of they're really pretty the colors these would be great gifts. Really cute. There's that one. And then this one. I'm just quickly showing you the pages. So they're just small, but they're sweet. Well made. Now onto the journals. So those were the albums. And here's the journals. So here's a handmade cover. Pretty sure she took the Nick the Booksmith course like I did to create these covers. Look at what she did there for the spine. That's neat with the kind of chevron arrow type pattern. It's hand painted and there is an embossed or a debossed owl on the cover. There's a little uh, extra bag of goodies that goes with it. Handmade hard cover. Yeah, based on the tutorial by Nick the Booksmith. So it is a naked journal, um, meaning it's not embellished inside. There's just a variety of pretty papers and they coordinate beautifully. And then there's some tags and other things in this bag that you can use to springboard it. But this is great if you want a really nice journal to start off with, 
but um, you have your own bits and pieces that you want to put in it. And then, of course, this will add to your stash and get you started. So there's the owl one. And then this one, she has a little goodie bag for each one. So just bits and pieces. But this one here is a pink color. There's some very faint, subtle roses in the corner. Very shabby, like a shabby chic almost. Some tabs, a little bit of lace sticking out there. Here's a spine. This is hand crafted with a curved spine, hand stitched, machine stitched pockets, hand dyed paper, ribbon tabs. So I don't know if this is embellished. No, it's not, but there are some machine stitched pockets and then lots of different tea dyed, coffee dyed papers as well as scrapbook papers. So really pretty. Here's like a Franken page. You can use what's in the baggie and then your own ephemera to decorate it. Perfect if you're not really into the creating of the journal part. You just want to start right in on a page and do a spread. So that's what this would be absolutely perfect for. And you could even jazz that cover up a little bit if you wanted to put your favorite vintage image on the front, layer it with a doily and some scraps of fabric and some buttons. You could really make um, your own unique cover. So the last one that she has for us today is purple. And it just has a very simple border pattern right here. Really pretty. I love this bright bright purple color. You do get a few pieces of goodies that you could use. There's some clips and some ribbon, a few pieces of ephemera, a couple flowers. If you like simple, you have simple, or you could layer up, um, you know, some coffee dyed paper and lace in your favorite image and put metal book corners on it and make it your own. Junk journal, hand stitched binding, machine stitched pockets, eco dyed paper. So she does have some eco dyed paper in here. Oh, looks like we might have one or two pieces of ephemera throughout in the pocket. She has some coffee dyed flashcards throughout. So those are great starters. This um, eco dyed paper is feels like it's on a watercolor paper. It is very heavy. So that is really nice. You could maybe even play with some mixed media on top of that if you wanted to. Really, really pretty. Here's a little stitched envelope. The couple stitching elements really add a lot. There's a simple tag. Just kind of gets you started, gets you thinking. And then you can pull out your favorite supplies or head over to the supply section on the website while you're purchasing this. Both Lindsay's supplies and Joanne's supplies. We always have um, stickers and goodie bags and doodads and all sorts of things that you can purchase to decorate your journal. So I hope that these gave you a little bit of inspiration. I hope they made you want to create. So you can just go over to the marketplace section, pick which one that you want and check out. I'll be very happy to see you in the next video. So hit the subscribe button if you have not yet. And I will see all of you probably on Monday. Today is Friday. Monday is my um, middle child's birthday. He'll be five, but we're celebrating it this weekend. So we've got uh, kind of a busy schedule Saturday, getting things ready and then Sunday doing his party. So after today, I'm taking the weekend off and then I will be back bright and early Monday with all sorts of fun, amazing things like usual.